Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this part I'm going to show you how to program your ESP board so it will send the packets from Xiaomi Gateway directly to your Loxon. First of all you will need to get Arduino IDE. Simply type in the Google Arduino IDE and go to the first page and download it. Just download. This will take few seconds depending on your connection speed. And it's ready. Simply start it. And install next, next, next. Allow the drivers to be installed. And the installation is completed. You can start the IDE. Allow the connection to the network. And the IDE is ready. First thing you have to do is add support for ESP modules, as it doesn't come as a standard in Arduino IDE. To do that, go to the Preferences and to this section Additional Boards Manager Addresses, copy this link. I will add it also to the video description and simply click OK. Now you have to go to the Tools, Board, Boards Manager and now it's downloading the updated ESP packages. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Select this ESP8266 option and click Install. And it's ready. You can close this page and the ESP module is ready and you can connect your device to the PC. Once you will connect it, it should appear as a new device and Windows should automatically install drivers for it. And you can see it's this device and it's using COM port number 4. So let's select the correct board. As I mentioned in the previous part, I'm using Wemos D1 Mini Pro. So I'm going to select this option. I'm going to select the upload speed to uh, this one. And the COM port number 4. So the board is ready and you can send the programs to the board. To be able to run the project that I prepared, you will need to install a few more libraries. One of them is this Arduino JSON library. This is needed to be able to encode and decode JSON strings. To install this library, simply go to this link. It will be included to the description. Download the zip file. And in Arduino IDE, Go to Sketch, Include Library, Add Zip Library, and select the file that you have downloaded. Same thing you have to do with this Arduino Lock Library. Again, download the zip file and install it. And one more library, this is for encryption. So again, download the zip file. And install it. Now you are able to run the project that I prepared. To be able to get it, simply go to this another link. 
Currently there is just one version available, but it's possible that in the future a few more will appear, adding new devices and probably some bug fixes. Download it. Go to the downloads, take the file, place it on your desktop or whenever you want. And just make sure when you will be extracting it that the name of the library will be Xiaomi Reader without spaces. So I simply extract it to this folder. And I can open this project. Just to double check that the board is Wemos D1 Mini and the speed and the COM port is correct. And you can try to compile it. If you will get output like this, then everything is fine and the program can be loaded to the board. But first of all, you will need to set up few things. Focus on this section. First thing you have to set up is the name of your Wi-Fi and the password. Wemos board has to be connected to the same Wi-Fi as the Xiaomi Smart Home Gateway. Otherwise the communication will not work. Then you can set up the IP address of your Loxon. If your Loxon is on the same subnet like the Wemos board, then you don't need to touch this and the packets will go through the broadcast directly to your Loxon. Then there are the ports where to receive for the packets and the ports where to send the packets. You can change this, but if you don't know what you are doing, simply not touch these values. And the last thing is to define your Xiaomi smart home gateways. You have to enter the IP addresses and the passwords of your gateways. If you have just one gateway, simply delete the second line, fill in the IP address of your first gateway and the key. The key is shown in that hidden menu that I shown in the first video and you are good to go. Try to compile it again just to check that there are no errors. And you can upload this code to your board. To see what's going on, run this serial monitor. You can see that the board is booting up. It's trying to discover the Xiaomi smart home gateways. And there is some communication. I'm holding in my hands the switch that I added in the previous part and I try to click it and you can see that there is the click command and this command is sent to the Loxon. How to set things up in Loxon config will be shown in the last part of this tutorial.